Of all the bad places I've been to in the United States, I don't know if I've ever been to a city that's as vastly run down, abandoned, and out of control as Oakland, California. This is the side of town where most of the homeless camps are located. Some look like something you'd see in Haiti. Lean-to shacks made of recovered junk that serve as four walls and a roof, but that's just about it. Other areas just outside of downtown are home to hundreds of people camped out in makeshift shanties among piles of trash with rats. Parts of West Oakland don't even look like the United States. Oakland is a hole. The crime there is so bad that businesses are fleeing by the bunches. So we got all these major corporations who are either beefing up security, they're taking drastic measures. We're gonna talk about Taco Bell, what they're doing in a second or they're just getting the hell out of there altogether, a place like In-N-Out, a lot of notable businesses are saying this place is just too crime ridden, it's too much of a hole for us to operate. Even businesses that were in profit there, even though they were being robbed, they were still making a little bit of money, the customers were being robbed. You go somewhere to get the cheeseburger, get a taco or something, and you might not make it back. You might end up in a hospital, you might end up laid out on the side of the road somewhere, so we're gonna look at the latest company, the latest of these major corporations who are considering getting the hell out or getting out altogether. Let's look at what Taco Bell has done. We'll begin in Oakland where yet another restaurant chain is going to extreme lengths to keep staff and customers safe. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. Several Taco Bell locations in the city are now closing their dining rooms and switching to drive through only. Our John Ramos looks into the problems prompting the change. This Taco Bell on 35th Avenue in Oakland has been robbed four times since November. The owners of the franchise have decided that enough is enough. Plywood still covers the window from three weeks ago when robbers used a pickup truck and cable to steal a safe from the Taco Bell at 35th and MacArthur. Of the four robberies the store has endured in as many months, two of them occurred when the restaurant was open for business. Kimberly Garibe works at the Metro Wireless store across the street. They just pull up out of nowhere, and it's not like it's only they're robbing the store, they rob everybody in there as well. So it's, it's not as safe as how it used to be. It's a lot of crime now. With that in mind, the owner of the franchise, a company called Diversified Restaurant Group, has closed the dining rooms at all four of their Taco Bells in Oakland, including this one on a crime-ridden section of Hagenberger Road. That leaves a Taco Bell on Telegraph, owned by another company, as the only place people can eat indoors. And that restaurant has gone cashless to try to prevent robberies. It's sad that it got to the point where they can't even allow people inside because they get robbed. DRG wouldn't comment today, but Taco Bell Corporation issued a statement saying, quote, the franchise owner and operator has informed us that they are consistently evaluating and working to ensure a safe environment by implementing procedures such as closing dining rooms and hiring security guards, and they have taken extra measures to meet with local law enforcement, end quote. Now, service is only provided through the drive-up window, which was a problem for a woman named Miss Jo, who doesn't own a car and had to ask a friend to drive her to get her lunch. I don't think it's cool. You it's know. annoying, though. It's annoying, yeah. So what do you feel about them closing the dining rooms and saying, you know, oh, the, yes, we're, we're too afraid? That's what we, they should be. What, they they should be afraid, true, <laughs> but I just feel bad for the patrons, you know what I'm saying. But as annoying as it may be, most just see it as a sad reminder of how bad things have gotten in their town. It breaks my heart. Why? Because I want, I want somebody to protect the citizens. You can't, you know, enjoy your meal in the comfort of the place you bought your meal in. So it's like them closing it down due to, you know, all the crime rates and everything. Um, you know, I don't know, honestly, it's just, what is this Oakland coming to? Everything is just getting worse. Things are closing down. You know, it's just terrible. It's not a new problem, but it is a problem that appears to be getting worse every day. Well, at least for now, Taco Bell Corporation says there are no plans to shut any of the restaurants down completely. But Taco Bell isn't the only chain stopping indoor dining in Oakland. Last year, Raising Cane's near the Oakland airport closed its dining room. 
In-N-Out has also announced it's closing completely due to crime. So I got a question for the left-wing activists, the woke revolutionaries who push for these South Fork crime policies, who elected these DAs, these Oakland voters, these residents in Oakland who are complaining. Is that criminal justice reform working out for you? When you said, oh, it's racist to arrest Latinos, it's racist to arrest black people, how dare you? Why don't we send social workers out there instead of the police? This is so terrible. Is it working out for you? Because you got businesses fleeing by the dozens out there. People losing their jobs, economic activity is starting to cease in this place. It doesn't feel safe. Tourists don't want to go there. Word is, as soon as you leave the damn airport in Oakland, <laughs> You're at risk of something happening to you. I saw a Keep Leave video. He was talking about how he went over there to the Bay Area and it was just bombed up and depleted because you have criminals running and rampant. The place is falling apart. No investors are going to come there to build new properties, to build new businesses because they're going to get robbed into existence. You got people doodling on the ground, laid out with syringes next to them, and you know what they're up to. And the cell phone crime DA, she said, Oh, no, we can't be putting these people in prison. That's racist. We need to do something else for them. Instead of putting criminals in prison, let's try to reform them some other type of way. Been working out horrifically for them. Let's look at a little bit of what's going on with the DA. She's been recalled and she's trying to blame the white man. Of course, they always try to blame the white man <laughs> because they're doing a bad job. But she's being recalled and she's still standing firm in her position about, yeah, we got to be a little bit soft from crime. We can't treat these criminals like animals. We can't lock them up. They just need a slap on the wrist. As long as we're investing in prisons, we're not investing in job programs or mental health services. Sitting center stage, Alameda County District Attorney Pamela Price. I'm not only the first black woman to sit in this seat, I'm the first foster kid to sit in this seat. This was another in a series of community forums, this time focused specifically on public safety in Oakland. I think one of the biggest problems with all the people complaining about the crime um, and, and, and charges about enhancements. DA Price spoke of how her office is prosecuting cases and the reforms she was elected to implement. As she explained, enhancements don't deter crime and are racially biased. Enhancements force us to invest in prisons and it's absolutely essential that we stop using them. Were you satisfied with what you were hearing today? No, I wasn't. If you're dealing with a person that they deal in fear and intimidation, you can't meet them with compassion. You have to deal with them with fear and retaliation. And another question I have for these Oakland voters, is anybody going to call out the actual criminals? We got people robbing stores. You can't go get a damn dollar taco. Well, in Biden's economy, I guess a $3 taco. <laughs> can't go get a taco without getting beat up, without getting mugged. You in there trying to eat. Imagine that you in there eating a cheap, greasy ass Taco Bell meal <laughs> and some hoodlums come in there and rob the joint and they might take your watch and your phone while you in there. They're like, look, we came to get the cash register. But since you in here, go ahead and give me what you got to. <laughs> so let's read a little bit about the list of businesses and companies that are getting the hell out of there because this place is completely crime ridden. A full blown hole. Crime and safety concerns in Oakland have prompted several businesses and companies to take action. Most of the recent headlines are coming from restaurants leaving the airport corridor, which has been plagued by robberies and break-ins. What the hell is this DA talking about? And where's the mayor? Where's the police force? Oh, you can't even hire a lot of police. And the police out there, they're worried about doing their job because if they get into some type of scuffle with one of these criminals, one of these hoodlums, and something happens to the criminal, then the cop might be in trouble. You saw how Biden apologized to that Venezuelan gang member who deleted that student. It looks like the left is on the side of the criminals. So even the cops, the few cops that are out there, they're kind of worried about doing anything. So we're going to skim through this article. So let's get down here to get a statement from the mayor. It is outrageous that criminal gangs and groups continue to harm Oakland residents and businesses. I join Oaklanders in demanding more prevention, enforcement, and accountability for the criminal groups inflicting harm upon our community. Well, the first thing you need to do is give more support to the police officers. You need to publicly support them. You need to talk about how we need to lock up these criminals. You need to increase the police salary and increase the police staff. Give these police an incentive and show them, look, if something happens, if some type of incident happens, we're going to have your back. Now, if you did something that you shouldn't have done, okay, that's understandable. But if you are just doing your job and some hoodlum 
something happens to some hoodlum, we're not going to dare showing you. We're not going to just say, oh, well, you need to be locked up anyways just for doing your job because by doing that, you're not able to have enough police. So first thing the mayor needs to do is publicly support the police and she probably needs to call out that DH um, because that DA is out of control out there. As mayor, I have prioritized this critical gateway to Oakland and surged police presence and employed technology to deter and respond to criminal behavior. The surge of public safety resources has led to a reduction in property crimes along the Hindenburger Corridor. However, it is necessary and I will be working along with regional and state leaders to project this tourist gateway and to Oakland. Yeah, you want to protect where the money comes from. You want to protect those tourists. But that's all really just political speech. She's just talking because we're looking at actions. We're looking at what's actually happening in the city and it's completely overrun. I think Gavin Newsom might have to do what Kathy Hochul did in New York. He might have to deploy the National Guard just to get control of these criminals because this like i said this place is overrun with criminals and it's a damn shame because the same people who push these cell phone crime policies like kathy hochel in new york gavin newsom in california the mayor over there tower whatever the hell her name is they push these policies and now that the city is overrun with crime oh man we need to do something about this so you started to begin with what needs to be done is all of you cell phone crime Democrats need to be thrown out of us. So we got Denny's. They closed in Oakland due to safety concerns. Starbucks, Black Bear Diner, Subway, Clorox. These guys, I talked about Clorox recently. They had to hire security guards just to escort their employees in a parking garage to walk from their place of work to their car. You have to have a security guard escort you. What? a few dozen feet <laughs> is it that bad you leave the building and that quickly you're gonna get mud god damn it's a damn shame i don't even see why these people even want to live out there and i'm still wondering why is property so high why is house so valuable in oakland and i did a video about kaiser that's the largest employer in oakland and they told their employees look man y'all don't need to be going out Side of the building to get lunch i know it's lunchtime and you want to get a burger from down the street you want to go to this restaurant hey look if you leave this building at noon, you might not be back by one. We might find you in the hospital. We might find you laid over in the alley somewhere because it's that dangerous. You leave to go get a sandwich and something might happen to you. It's a damn shame, man. This place is a hole. Blue Shield. <laughs> Look, ride shares. Look, man, like y'all don't need to be riding the bus. I know you live a block down, but you can't walk home from work. Yeah, you live a block down. It might take you 15 minutes just to get home. Nah, man, you might not make it. This is how bad this place is. And in and out obviously, in and out got the hell out of there. in and out said they were actually making money, but their customers were getting robbed and raising cane. So this is Oakland. This is what's going on out there. And these are the policies. These people in Oakland, these voters who are upset about it and wondering, all, all the jobs, all the restaurants, they're leaving. Why is it so strict out here? Why is doo-doo on the ground? Why are drug dealers all over the place? Why are people laid over with syringes? Y'all voting for woke DAs, voting for cell phone crime mayors, cell phone crime governors, and this is the result. So here's the question again. Is that criminal justice reform that y'all push so heavily, is it working out for you in Oakland? I don't think it is based on what I'm seeing from a distance. But let me know what you guys think about this. Leave me your thoughts below. Share the video. Thanks for watching.